Hey, God. I don't care what anybody says, man, but when you're wearing a nice watch and somebody says, hey, man, nice watch, uh, it puts a smile on your face, man. I don't care who you are. Somebody says, hey, man, that's a nice watch. You look down at your watch and you just smile and you say thank you. And uh, it happens to me a lot, but it just happened to me again and I want to talk about it. Hey, God. Cheers, family. Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Richard Prophet, The Last Dragon. And yeah, man, uh, so I had to drive up to Sarasota uh, from Miami um, because it's uh, spring break. It's spring break here in Florida. Cookie Girl uh, got out, so I went out, went up, drove up, spent a few days with her. But now duty calls, right? I got to get back to work. So... Uh, I, I'm driving back down from Sarasota to Miami, to downtown Miami. And then from here, I'm going to drive up to uh, Jacksonville, right? But I got to come uh, take care of a couple little things here. Uh, and then I'm going to drive up to Jacksonville on Monday. But so on the way down, right, I'm driving down and I pull into this Wawa. And, uh, you know, Wawa's gas station with food or whatever, snacks. And uh, so I pull in. Uh, I, I go I go in. Uh, and I just get a couple snacks or whatever, use the bathroom. And, uh, and I'm going to the cashier to pay, right? And uh, there's, two, there's two ladies at the cashier and their backs are to me. Uh... They're, they're like probably mid 30s, late 30s, right? Both of them. And they're talking to each other. Their backs are to me. They're stacking stuff on the shelves behind me or whatever. And uh, so the lady turns, one lady turns around and uh, and I'm walking over with my snacks. I had some. Uh... Uh, I bought some of these peanuts and stuff, right? So, so, um, here, uh, you know, we're living now, like when I was growing up, right? Uh, like the watch community, right? Was, 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 was like a, sh like a, like a well-kept secret, right? Um, like just, it was like some older, older guys, had money, they knew about watches and stuff like that. And uh, so it, it, it wasn't everybody and anybody that would talk about watches or knew about watches and stuff, right? But now, nowadays, nowadays in present time, it just seems like everybody like loves beautiful watches. Everybody is into watches now, right? Um, like you don't have to be a Rolex collector, uh, a watch collector, but everybody's like knows what a nice watch is and they can appreciate a nice watch and everybody now was like a watch enthusiast right like even young people uh younger celebrity yeah, like rappers everybody they're into beautiful rolex watches right and uh even women now young women middle-aged women older women everybody knows what a, wa a nice watch is and uh and they can appreciate it uh, when it's on your wrist, even if they're not watch collectors, they still can appreciate a beautiful watch on your wrist. So anyway, back to the story. So I'm walking up to the counter to pay for my items. And one of the ladies turns around and you know, us as watch people, as watchmen, watch people, uh, watch, watch collectors, you know, right. You, you can feel when somebody's looking at your watch it's crazy but i i myself i feel when somebody's looking at my watch so she turned around and she was at the cashier and i felt her kind of looking at my watch and you know i i gave it the little turn up you know i gave it so it was kind of like this and i gave it the little turn up 
so she could get the full, you know, the full, the full glance of the watch. You know, I did it consciously. Sure, I did because I saw her kind of like eyeing the watch. It was kind of like this. So I turned it over consciously, right, to to show her, you know, appreciate appreciate it, you know. Hey, you into watches? Why not? And uh, and uh, just like she kind of caught me off guard because she told me, wow, your watch is amazing. Just like that. And I was like, it kind of, you know, I was kind of taken aback for, for, for like a quick moment. Like this was the last person that you would feel like, you know, late thirties lady working at the Wawa. I mean, you know, this was like, it caught me off guard. Like, oh, this is not a guy that's into watches or whatever. But so it just caught me off guard. And I'm like, you know, I had to catch myself. And I was like, and I was like, you know what this is? And she was like, oh, yeah. You know, I used to work for them years back as a young. And I was like, wow. It's, 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 it. it. And I was like, oh, okay, thank you. And it made me look down and it put a big smile on my face. I was a little pissed. I was thinking about, you know, other issues about, you know, I got some squatters in one of my places. Uh, I'll, I, I made a video about that. I'll talk about, I'll leave that video at the end here if you haven't seen it. But anyway, when she told me, wow, your watch is amazing. I, I you know, I kind of like, it, it makes you look down at your watch and you put, you get a big smile on your face and it just changes your whole mood automatically. And I'm, you know, in my mind, I'm running through it like, wow, she's like, you know, she's into watches, whatever. But I'm thinking, yeah, man, you know, even though this would be like the last person you think would be into watches, You'd be surprised, man. Like, like especially nowadays, I get a, I get, oh, nice watch, man, nice watch. But from men, you know, I get, it, I get it a lot. But, uh, but uh, more so now, it's happening with people that you would think are not even watch enthusiasts. So I really, I really come to the understanding that there's more and more people into watches now. Like a lot of people, a lot of people, even if they're not collectors, they watch collectors or whatever, they can appreciate a beautiful Rolex on your wrist. And they don't mind saying, hey, nice watch, man. You know, uh, yeah, I get, I, get, I get it a lot. I get it often. But for some reason, it seems like this watch, you know, I get it a lot a lot like people really like to comment on this watch uh you know this is probably my most hey nice watch you know that i've gotten the most of all of my watches that i currently have or that i've ever had really this is probably the most uh commented on the most complimented and uh yeah so yeah, so that really made me feel good. And then she, I was like, oh, so you know what this is? She was like, yeah, I used to work for them years ago, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, oh, so take care of it. Check this out. This is funny. So she was like, yeah, take care of it. And I said, yeah, you know, I, I, I take care of my watches. I, I, you know, I take care of myself. And she was like, oh, I'll take care of you. <laughs> and we like, no, she said, I'm sorry. She goes, oh, I wish I could take care of you. And I went, bling, you know, uh, uh. You know, so uh, we laughed about it. And I was like, okay, thank you. Have a great day. Uh, and I left, man. But, uh, you know, it, 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 yeah, it mean, it really made, it really cemented for me, it solidified for me that uh, it's not just men anymore. It's not just like middle-aged guys like myself uh, in the watch community that love watches. Uh, you know, it's more and more, it, 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 it really it has crossed all genres. Uh, a lot of people really like Rolex watches now. Uh, young, old, men, women, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, you know. And so now, nowadays, more so than ever, more so than ever before, watches are ageless. Watches are ageless and they're cutter, colorless and they're borderless. So you can be from the whole other side of the world. You can be from across the pond. You can be way up north and you love watches just the same or more than I do or, you know, the next guy or the next gal. So, yeah, man. So the watch community is really expanding. More and more people, I think now more than ever, people are really getting into 
Rolex watches. And, uh, you know, I love it, man, because uh, anybody that speaks to me knows that I have an affinity for Rolex watches. And I tell them, hey, it's a great watch. Uh, you know, go ahead and get yourself one. And, I, you know, <laughs> there's a lot of collectors, especially all of my friends have been launched <laughs> because of me. I'm the reason why they're collecting Rolex. And, uh, hey, it's great, man. Uh, you know, I love it. I love to collect them. And the more people I can turn on to it, uh, the better. The more people I can share my passion for Rolex watches with, Hey, the more the merrier. You're all welcome. Uh, we have room for everybody. But yeah, man, I just wanted to say, man, that it, uh, no matter who you are, you know, I don't care if you're the meanest, toughest, uh, rudest, weirdest guy out there, man. You're wearing a watch and somebody tells you, hey, man, nice watch. Uh, it's going to put a smile on your face. Uh, you know, put a smile on the dragon's face. And, you know, sometimes that's hard to do, especially if I'm in uh, one of my moods. But yeah, man, it put a smile on my face tonight and uh, it elevated my whole mood. So uh, shout out to you, shout out to you, shout out to you. Thank you for complimenting my watch. I appreciate it. And thank you for having a love for Rolex, uh, beautiful Rolex watches. And uh, yeah, man, hey man, nice watch. Oh, you know, if you see somebody out there, if you appreciate beautiful watches, even if you're not a collector or you're waiting to get your first piece or you have 10, 15 watches in your collection, if you see someone else wearing a nice watch, don't be afraid to say, hey, man, nice watch. It'll make that person feel great. Or, hey, ma'am, nice watch. That'll make that person feel great. And a smile is contagious. They'll put a smile on their face in turn. It'll put a smile on your face. All right, that's it, man. I got to get, I just parked. I'm going to go grab something to eat and uh, get ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow's a very busy day. Aka. I'm your host, Richard Prophet, The Last Dragon, and uh, I'm out, man. Hey, man, nice watch. Hey, God. Cheers, family.